and we're back and one thing that I did want to share with everybody is I wanted to go over a couple of the modifications that I've made on um, some of the mods that I've done um, it's a good time to kind of bring those you know those things out um, you can see at the the main scope base we've got a black ring on there um, basically what that is if you've watched any of the um, astronomy shed um, basically all that is is nothing more than a, a garage seal that I picked up from the hardware store cut it down a little bit um, so I got a nice perforated edge um, you know good good base edge there and I just bought two um, I think they were six inch or a five and a six inch um, just just a standard hose clamp <clears throat> and I cut that down and I, I put it on the scope and cut it and I put the band clamp on there to kind of help it as you can see it's misaligned here but what that what that allows me to do is move the scope around on the mount once I get the locking rings put on and I get everything with the mount set up I can just literally set this scope up there and not have to hold it um, and lock the rings in and make sure it's good and secure and it also helps with the balancing process as far as sliding that up and down a little bit for um, for things like that that big you know 40 millimeter eyepiece that thing's a hoss it weighs probably a pound pound and a half when you put it in the nose of this telescope up here on the fork on the on the focuser um, you know it, it really weighs down the, the nose of this thing and that just gives you a little more maneuverability um, I'd like to mark it and actually put in the eyepiece markings for like a 40 millimeter 25 uh, 14 9 um, and actually just be able to slide the you know the the band up and down to whatever scope or whatever uh, eyepiece I'm going to be using that night just to kind of help with the balancing process balancing process can take a little bit of um, maneuvering and a little bit of tweaking to do um, when you, especially when you put a, almost a pound pound and a half on the nose of this thing it really throws the balance out and the last thing you want to do is load up your motors and uh, have to worry about you know burning up a motor or really you know straining out the mount um, to move this thing around so that would that's the the premise behind the the band clamp with the the garage door seal um, it was a pretty pretty cheap modification I think maybe 10 bucks or so um, $12 um, and I've got more than enough seal I can remake two or three more of those things um, I think I bought like 8 or 10 feet or 12 feet of the, the seal for like $7 or $8 so the two band clamps were like a buck and a half a piece so you know real good thing to do um, the other thing <clears throat> that I wanted to do was this is the actual scope mounting bracket that you lock into the head um, oops, get this thing where it sits up here there we go um, one thing that I did do earlier this week was I bought a piece of channel um, you know the white tan color piece of channel that I bought it's like three quarter by an inch and a half wide um, just just a piece of channel is about four foot long cut it down um, you know adapted it you can see where I drilled some holes in it made it where it mounts up to the top mounting rings um, you know nice and easy I moved my viewfinder bracket off of the telescope and I mounted it to this and we'll get into a little bit of that later um, just because of the way the telescope moves and gets um, contorted in all kinds of stupid looking ways where it's really hard sometimes to really look through your viewfinder this way it's right out of the, out in the clear it's down toward the base and I think that when you look through it because it's it's mounted I mounted the viewfinder toward the base of the bottom ring I think once you really get this thing dialed in good it's going to help you in the long run to have a more accurate alignment through your viewfinder to whatever star or planet you want to look at so it was a simple modification to do um, you know the the piece of the channeling shouldn't be no more than about, 
maybe 10 bucks um just you know i took a die grinder at work and just cut it out and you know bought a little bit of hardware and just mounted the thing right down to it and uh and as you can see it's it's gonna work out probably just fine once i get it all set up and and aligned in so and it keeps me from having to look through the nose of the the, the scope and what i did on the scope was you can see i got two screws where the the viewfinder used to be i just bought two little very short screws no farther than just inside of the tube bought two you know just you know 29 cent uh little nuts to to run the screws in and just fill up the holes and uh you know just block them out and just took the viewfinder slam off of the, the actual tube and mounted it down there because you can see the viewfinders right here beside the the focuser which if you've got this thing turned where you can look through the, the focuser you got to go another good ways around to try to look through the viewfinder and it just creates more of an issue of bumping into the mount bumping the telescope knocking everything out of alignment um you know the band the the bottom ring is probably down here almost a foot away from the band which is another six inches below where the viewfinder originally mounts so you know you're you're talking about you know almost two foot down where it's a lot more accessible it's going to be right in the center pivot rotation of the of the mount it's just going to be a lot easier to look through um we shouldn't have any issue with with hitting it you, you're never going to contort this thing around to the point where you're ever going to hit the thing so you know no worries there but that was one of the other modifications that i've done um, like I said, it was just simple. It was more time consuming than it was anything to make sure I got all everything cut and drilled right. Um, just really took my time. Didn't take any real special tools or anything else. And you know, you can see it's it's going to line up just fine with the the main scope. And you know, it's got it's got nice big adjusting screws, so we shouldn't have any problem getting that thing lined up. Um, the other modification that I've done is I'm trying to think what was one of the other big modifications that I did. The telescope itself, um, I originally got the scope. You can see the little, I get out of this, out of light here. I've got some little Allen screws on the top and the bottom and everything else. When I originally took the scope apart, and you know cleaned it checked everything out really good make sure the primary mirror was secured um and was in a good a good latch base um the last thing you want to do is drop the 10 inch mirror um that's in this thing it would be catastrophic to the scope you might as well throw the scope in the trash can um if you ever do that so um i went you know i was at the hardware store i picked up some stainless steel um, hardware so I ain't got to worry about rust or anything else and measured them out they were metric I think they were four millimeters as well um, and when I clean the scope when I put it all back together I put those in um, gives you a lot more secure bolting than the original hardware and it was just just a good thing to do and uh, other than that I think that's about it as far as the modifications that I've done um, for, for this go around, I mean, I've got other mods that I've did. Um, I've made a, a couple other brackets where I've got my four and a half inch mounted, where that bracket mounts. Um, basically, it sits in almost the same position as where the viewfinder will on this. Um, so I can just pop that bracket off, put the four and a half inch on top of the, the scope mount rings, and I've got the 10 inch, the four and a half inch, plus the eight by 50 viewfinder. Um, all stacked up in a line and uh, I mean you can do some really fine tune once we get it all dialed in we can do some really fine tune galaxy nebula um, you know viewing and that's really the goal for the scope is I am gonna have the scope fine tuning in on Andromeda and you know a lot of the the galaxies and the nebulas it can be done and we will make it happen so um, please stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video series. Please subscribe. Give me some thumbs up. And uh, until next time.